Hi, please watch this uh, demo. I'm holding a ping pong racket. I'm moving to the left and moving to the right. And basically I'm controlling the player and I can hit the ball and play the game smoothly uh, without using a joystick. I'm basically using a physical object, this uh, ping pong racket, detecting it using the camera and I can uh, play this uh, Atari game. I'm going to explain this tutorial how to, uh, to get these results. Very nice uh, project. It is based on the Python and the OpenCV and uh, several uh, libraries. This tutorial is uh, based on the computer uh, vision uh, libraries using Python. You don't, be, you don't have to be an expert, so enjoy it and let's start. So, in order to, to get this result, we have, uh, we have to follow uh, five steps. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to, to run the Atari as an emulator on my Windows environment. However, uh, we can run it, uh, uh, obviously we can run it uh, on a Raspberry Pi and connect it to an original uh, Atari uh, console. Um, I have a, a video that explains how, how it can be done. You can follow uh, the link uh, above. A very nice project of uh, connecting uh, and running Python code in order to, to activate electricity signals and to simulate uh, the Atari joystick. So you can follow this uh, link. Uh, so it's basically the same process. So we have uh, five steps. The first step is installing a Conda environment and uh, installing the, the Python libraries uh, as well. Then the next step, uh, we are going to learn how to detect the game window. We have to, to get the window, focus the window and uh, run commands to the, to the game window. So we have to detect it. The first step, uh, we are going to, to activate the game controls using a keyboard simulation. That means that we are going to give a, a commands to the windows like up, down, fire, left, right, uh, etc. So we're going to learn how to do it. The fourth, uh, uh, four steps, uh, the interesting one is how to detect the ping pong racket. So how can we uh, detect it and, and to, to follow it uh, through the, the camera. And the last step is uh, how it's all combined together. I'm going to follow the code step by step. I'm not going to type it. I'm going to, to display it and go okay, over the, next the phase code is and uh, creating a uh, relevant, uh, code, relevant environment. code. I so will uh, call it uh, Atari Tennis. To, this is to be the name of the environment. And we are going to use Python uh, 3.6. Okay, it uh, create uh, this environment and of course we are going to do the counter activate command to to activate this uh, new environment next we are going uh, to to install several uh, python libraries uh, the first one is opencv it's a very important libraries to manipulate uh, images manipulate uh, a camera and basically manipulate any frames and uh, the next one is pywin32 it helps. It helps us to to um, get a handle for for windows for for uh, and activate a, a window. And the third one is pyn put. Uh, this help us to to activate um, keyboard commands. I will explain it yet later. And now we are going to uh, run the the IDE. I'm using VS Code and select uh, the right uh, Conda environment uh, as we saw earlier uh, I called it uh, Atari Tennis so I'm looking at uh, the list of the environment and of course uh, choose it in order to continue here it is Atari Tennis
Okay, in our next steps we are going to learn how to get a handle of a window. We are going to use the Python library a Win32 a GUI and we are going to write a simple function that gets a, a string, basically it's the name of the window and it tries to look for this a string it's, it tries to look for a window with the name of the string and return return a handle and we are going to use later this handle in order to send uh, commands to activate uh, uh, commands inside this uh, window so as for example uh, we are going to use a notepad we are going to save uh, this notepad file and try to to connect or get a handle to this uh, notepad uh, window So let's open a notepad. Uh, the basic name is untitled note notepad. We are going to type a text and we are going to, to save uh, this file. Uh, we're going to call it uh, test.txt. And then we are going uh, to, to demonstrate how to get the handle of this uh, notepad window. Uh, first, we are going to type uh, a, a wrong uh, window name and we are going to, to run this uh, this Python code and of course the, the result will be a zero okay let's run it so please notice that we get a, a zero that means we are not uh, getting the, the handle of the window and now we are going to type the correct name please notice that the name of the window contains the, the full text test.txt notepad and now we are getting a number okay let's continue for the next step so in this process uh, we are going to to learn how to uh, simulate the keyboard uh, it's very important in order to control the game the game uh, uh, use uh, left right up down and and fire as as the spacebar or as for now, it's going to be a very a simple process. We are going to, to import uh, this Python library and these functions. We're going to use the, the time uh, the time library, the time Python library as well. We are going to use the, only the, the slip uh, function. So what we are going to do, we are going to get uh, the handle for the keyboard, wait five seconds and type with the keyboard or simulate the typing of the text hello world then wait three seconds and go left wait two seconds go left 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 and after the whole process finished we are going to to release the, the left button uh, in order to see the the result i'm going to open the the previous uh, notepad uh, let's uh, clean the the, the rows and now we are going to, to run it. Okay, first we are waiting five seconds. And again, then it type in the hello world. And now please notice caref carefully, uh, left, left, left. And after two more seconds, it's finished. You can see that the Python uh, finished run. This is how can we uh, activate uh, the keyboards using a Python code. Please remember the previous step was getting a handle with a handle to, to a window. Now we are learning to activate the keyboard. And next we are going to combine it all together. But before we are going to learn how to detect an object using the, the camera. Okay, uh, in this part of the tutorial we are going to cover how to detect the, the ping pong uh, racket so uh, this is a, a very short and simple code only for the detection it uh, will not be part of the of the last uh, or, or the final uh, uh, gaming code so in order to understand it we have to understand what is what is hsv color but before uh, I'm going uh, to run the code and to, to explain how does it uh, works, 
Uh, of course, we are going to open a camera. I'm a camera. I'm using a, a USB camera, a, a Logitech, Logitech C920 camera. I, I think it's a, a very good camera with, with a very good uh, resolution. Uh, it's, a, it's a home camera, a USB camera. I uh, really recommend uh, this camera. So uh, you can see myself and you can see uh, the, the racket. And uh, I'm going to, to arrange everything. Uh, we basically have two windows. This is the, the original uh, camera window. And we are uh, analyzing uh, this camera in the, the background, every frame of the camera. And we have here a, a control. And you can see that uh, if I'm playing with this comp control, the other window is being affected. It's like a masking of black and white. So we are going to change the number until we see only this racket. Only this racket, it should be white one and everything else will be black. So uh, just to, to, to demonstrate how does it work, so I'm going to play with the, this control. I, I will leave the code in my GitHub so you can use it yourself. So you can see this is the, the, uh, uh, the first argument, the, the U argument, it's, it's the color. Then the sat saturation, I'm going to change the satura saturation. Okay, this is too much. And the last one is called value. And I think this is good. Uh, uh, it's okay that we have some, uh, some uh, uh, white spots because uh, when we will run the, the game code, we are going to look for the biggest white area. So these numbers are the relative, relevant one that we are going to use later. Uh, as for now, I, I would like first of all to explain what is HSV. So look, look at this uh, diagram. This is the, the RGB, the red, green and blue. It's a, a well-known a well-known uh, pattern of uh, uh, achieving a, a specific uh, color. However, HSV is built with a U, which is the, the color, saturation. So you can see how, uh, you can see the color, how, how, how it is saturated and the value. The value is from right uh, until it's more, uh, uh, black or, or more solid color so basically the, the the combination or composition of these three va values create a specific uh, color so what we are getting is only the the blue or this specific blue uh, color it's been a uh, uh, white so how does it work if we will go directly to the code we are using a, a library called OpenCV and then this is the, the track bars that you can see here these are the track bars it's here we are a, a defining a HU lower, HU upper, saturation low, saturation high value low and value high this is the, all the, the arguments and here, this is the minimum value and the maximum value. You can see that U lower can be from 0 to 179. This is the, the, the values, the maximum value for U, and this is the maximum value for saturation and maximum value for uh, value. And this is the, the relevant for uh, HSV model. And then uh, this is a, a basically a, a very simple uh, OpenCV uh, structure. We are getting a handle for the camera. We are setting the camera for this uh, resolution. And then we are opening uh, a loop. Uh, the loop, uh, you can exit the loop 
only if we are pressing the Q byte button. Uh, so we are getting uh, in this loop, getting each time the next frame. We are showing the, the, the frame. So this is uh, this window. We are showing this frame. It's called camp. You can see here uh, camp. And then we I position in the, the window in the 0.0, .0 that means in the upper uh, left uh, corner we are converting each frame to HSV frame using this uh, function and then we are uh, getting from each trackbar the values that means uh, we are getting the values of uh, for example this 67 will go to to this uh, variable and this 112 will go to this variable because this is the HU lower and this is the HU upper. So since we have six arguments, we are retrieving the information from the track bars. And the next process, we are building a, a number array. Uh, it's composed of these three uh, values, one for uh, the lower and one for the upper. And then we are using the CV2 in range function to do a masking and this masking is helping us to to get this final result so we can see only this white value and we call this window fg mask this is the the frame fg mask and we are displaying it here you can see fg mask mask so uh, this is uh, what gives us the ability to capture the bracket and then we are going to use uh, combine it to to our previous uh, uh, tutorial and we are going to activate uh, the the keyboard controls in order to run the game using this detection okay now we are on the last step step and we are going to explain the, the final code, how to run the game. So I'm going to run through the code, through the important uh, uh, sessions of, of, the, of the code. So uh, first of all, we are uh, importing the, the relevant uh, libraries. We are covering it uh, earlier. Then we are um, getting a handle for the camera and setting the resolution of camera and this is a, another parameter for the uh, let's say the, the middle of, of the frame it's more relevant for the life the, the left and, and the right this uh, finding the, the center and uh, the name of the window is the name of the the tennis window after we will run the the, the emulation run the, the stellar emulation this is the name of the tennis and we will have two more uh, string, va string variable. I, I will use it uh, later. The next step is defining our function for get a hand from a, a window. I explained it uh, earlier. And then I'm uh, running and test that we got the handle of the tennis window. And if we got uh, the handle, I will print it and set the window position in this position it's the middle of my my screen you can set it uh, uh, wherever you you like and then uh, get uh, uh, the window will be as uh, the foreground will be above all the windows and then we are starting the the process uh, the the game of course we we run already the the window the the application of the the tennis game and now we are uh, discovering and detecting the, the camera frames so we are going to get and read each time the next frame and convert it to HSV as I earlier uh, explained earlier and get the values and uh, sorry we are going to to put the values and you can see here it's the, the previous values from our uh, uh, previous uh, uh, tutorial uh, we, it's very important to, to update uh, these values. It can be changed according to, to the light and uh, 
according to your uh, clothes so 67 112 this is the one then I'm uh, fixing uh, the values according to the previous uh, testing and then we are uh, running the, the same process of, of doing a mask for for the for the camera for for the frames in the camera after the masking we have to use this find contours uh, function in order to to find all the the areas with the white spots so this function find contours uh, building a, an array of all the the, the white uh, spots and then we are sorting it according uh, to to the to the area that means that the biggest one will be the first one and if this uh, contour is uh, uh, the length is more than one that means that he found white spots we are uh, getting to this uh, variable the, the first one meaning that we are getting the biggest one biggest one is the racket since this is the the white one and if we can see more white spots that means that we have to change once again the this value to get a, a more a more suitable a more suitable numbers you can see i fixed it now so we have to change uh, the values i will change it uh, online that will be seven nine and that will be 203 okay now it's better you can see that this is the biggest spot and all the all the all the rest will be uh, non-relevant so we are here at this step and now we are going to draw a rectangle over this over this uh, racket it's very important since we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle so uh, here we are going to build a, a list of areas and each time we are going to append it to to the to this uh, uh, array and the main purpose is um, to to run a, a, or, or to detect if we are going like this so if if we are doing this process that means that the current area is bigger from the last 100 area and the major uh, process of or, uh, or it's very important to do it because uh, this is uh, the fire button that means if we are doing this action with the with the rocket that means we are going to hit the ball I, I will show it like this if we are going this process that means we are going to hit the ball and in order to detect it we are calculated the area and if the area is bigger for the last 100 that means that we uh, did this kind of action so this is the purpose of this code and uh, next uh, we are going to do a very uh, simple uh, detection if we move uh, move the, the market to the left then we are checking the the position uh, uh, according to the center it will be left and then check to the right and if we are holding it will be holding it, it will be a, a command of hold and uh, as I said earlier if there is a difference uh, in the area uh, this is a variable that you can play with this variable that means a fire and if we are uh, if the difference is smaller that means if we are doing uh, like this process okay that means that this is up and down uh, in the game and, and not hitting the, the the ball and then we are getting the handle of the of the game and we are running a, a keyboard a keyboard activation control of left to right like pressing the, the left and pressing the right as I explained earlier and displaying the frame i'm flipping the frame since the camera at the left and right is opposite it's like a mirror so i'm flipping it 
and showing the the outcome. Uh, this is the process. Uh, I can demonstrate it, of course. Let's run the code. I will. One second. Let's run the, the tennis. This is the the game. Now it's uh, opening the, the camera. Let's wait a few more seconds. If it uh, get the handle of the window, it will be uh, moved to the to the left, and you can see that now I am moving to the left, and the player goes to the left, now we're moving to the right, the plane moving to the right, going to the center and stop, and if I do hitting, it's hit the game, and now I can play the game, let's do another try, not a good player, let's do another try, I hope you enjoy uh, my tutorial. I leave uh, a link for the code in, in the video description in my GitHub. You are most welcome to share this video and most welcome to, to use the code. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.